If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. SpaceX has been stealing headlines as of late and getting that important headline for some has been more of a mess. Lockheed Martin would like to change that, it seems, with the latest proposal to NASA. Lockheed Martin, US aerospace giant, second largest aerospace company in US with number of successful aerospace programs, is yet to propose a successful solar space program beyond its United Launch Alliance commitment. Before I continue, I would like to ask you to consider becoming my patrons by donating to my Patreon account. My YouTube channel just got demonetized and I would like to continue making videos, something many of you here like. But I'd rather maintain full editorial control over my videos on my channel and for that I need actual supporters. Link for my PayPal account and Patreon account in the description. Thank you. Moonlander Lockheed Martin just unveiled might be the project that could give Lockheed Martin upper hand in race to the moon. At least this is what I hope. NASA unveiled new strategy after current US administration emphasized return to the moon by 2024. Lockheed Martin hopes to win over NASA with its new lunar lander and therefore meet NASA's objective by 2024. Lockheed Martin hopes the new lander, somewhat smaller than one unveiled last year, could be ready in less than five years, the time frame given to NASA by current administration. The vehicle consists of two elements, a lander portion that can travel down to the surface of the moon and an ascent vehicle that can lift astronauts off the moon's surface. The lander is meant to travel to and from the new space station that NASA wants to build around the moon, called the Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway. If all these elements are created, astronauts will travel to the gateway from Earth and then take the lander from the station to the moon. The ascent vehicle will then bring them back to the station. Lockheed Martin, however, does note the timeline to finish the lander is very aggressive. As Lockheed Martin is working together with Airbus on Orion service module, it is expected Lockheed Martin will use Orion engines as part of the proposed ascent vehicle. The ascent vehicle will be responsible for transfer of astronauts off the surface of the moon. If current schedule holds, the Orion crew capsule and the service module will have flown together at least twice in space before lander is needed in 2024. An uncrewed Orion capsule is slated to fly by the end of 2020 on a trip around the moon as part of Exploration Mission 1, followed by the crewed mission around the moon in 2022, which is part of Exploration Mission 2. However, all this is dependent on completion of most important aspects of future manned lunar mission, and that is Getaway or LOPG or Lunar Orbital Platform Getaway. If this can be completed by 2024, and there are some doubts it can be done in current design, the full gateway calls for multiple modules to be strung together, creating a temporary home and research facilities for astronauts. NASA is yet to agree on contractors who will build the gateway, which also calls for the evaluation phase process. The first phase was just completed, but with really short time frame, question remains if NASA can commit to full-scale gateway or perhaps bare bond system, which really, if we are honest, is a complete waste of taxpayers' money. SpaceX is looking to have its own Starship ready by 2024. Would be interesting to see if they'll offer the Starship for the first lunar landings, and if so, can NASA ignore the golden opportunity? This brings another question. Do we really need a lunar orbital platform gateway?